I love this shot. I don't have to get very far away to get this whole house in the frame. Henry woke up this morning. First thing he said, I, I'm no lie, he smiled and he said, Mama, it's morning. So I'm going to say that. Happy day. It's morning. I'll tell you what. If you're like me, you don't wake up saying, it's morning. Something about the morning for me. That's a little bit. It's like bit. all my fears and negative thoughts accumulate in the morning. Catch me all at once in the morning. There we go. Although I don't know if that's going to work being crooked like that. Yesterday, I just felt that aura of stress, you know, moving the sheep, moving the the pigs. When I would remember, I would just smile. Even though I didn't feel like smile. Try it right now. Try smile. Emotion follows motion. Goodness, what is the commotion about? Wow, the chickens have leveled out their wood chips we gave them yesterday. We got Kaylee from the home, Honey Homestead coming today. I believe we're gonna see our bees today. Between today and tomorrow, we're installing bees. For the first time ever in 92 years. Another reason for wood chips and the chicken run, besides keeping down the smell, making compost, giving the chickens a sanitary place to live. It looks really good. Make sure no, see, poop in there. I've not been turning the nest boxes like I should. They finished our deck yesterday. Wait, I noticed some, some caps missing, but they finished it. VIP deck, done. I love it. Look how beautiful. Let's look at this generous step entrance to our yard, which we will be spending a lot of time on this deck in the summer. Painters have primed and done the ceilings. And boy, I, w I do wish you could feel it in here. It is so much warmer with our insulation. And then Ashley has guests in the cabin. <laughs> There's no kitchen cabinets over there or car car carpets, so we're not moving back. They usually stay in the farmhouse when they come to visit and shoot with us. Now we traded. Now we traded. Is that Bizarro World? Come on, man. come on. He's having so much fun in life. It's morning. I get to ride my bike. Everything's fun. I'm thankful for the rain the other day to water our carrots. I neglected to water them when I planted them. Something got in that? No. Winnie! Let's mow a strip around it and put a fence up. Did I just find the culprit? Get out of here. You're pooping in our garden. Disgusting. People and your cats. Poop in the garden. Are you serious? That's, disgu that's disgusting. Forgive my limping. I've hurt my back. Did I hurt it? My back hurts for no particular reason. Rebecca's like, this happened to you this time last year at the cabin. I've moved once in my life. I moved from my childhood home and now I've moved twice in one year. I think it's stress. I think it's stress. I don't think anything's really wrong with me. We've had all the tests. We've had the connective tissue tests. When I was high, in high school and got so stressed out about running track, you know, it's the little things when you're younger. We would have my back examined. Nothing. She's dug there, 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 there. Winnie has dug like seven holes in one garlic bed. She does seem to be kind of dodging the plant. You doing all right? <laughs> you miss your lady? about a twice a week job right there, what I just did. And he just told me that garlic mess wasn't Winnie. It was the chickens. On today's episode of Burn It Up Cooking Show, we have a guest cook. Have you ever cooked chuck roast? Chuck roast? I think I have. Okay. Well, I heat all the time. I heat all the time. On the Burn It Up Cooking Show. Yep. <laughs> well, you told me we that you high. <laughs> I wonder why. Burn It Up Cooking Show has lived up to the same. Yeah. <laughs> Lily, you took the Burn It Up Cooking Show to the top level. It was our plan all along. <laughs> yeah, see? He was on board with yeah. you. Because he's seen how all the improvements house. this house has gotten. If y'all don't know, that's the editor. You can blame him for all the fast edits. <laughs> oh. Blame it on I'm me. just kidding. I prove every yeah, show. Yeah, proves everything. And I say, cut it down. Summon your inner youth. <laughs> and, and enjoy the chaos. Put one of these super cubes. That's a two cupper. Freeze them into one cup, two cups. It's handy with you right here because you can put the link to the super cubes. Video note, put the link to the super cubes. Thank you, Cole. Hey, everybody, grab a towel. There you go, Austin. They're a little heavy, aren't they? They are. They're, this one's a little lopsided, too, for some reason. Grabs 
slower than you ever gone before. Here, put it in neutral. We'll just push it. Uh, okay. It'd be our cart. They're not broken. They're not broken. I promise. Okay. Yeah, just open them on and examine them like that and put them right over here. Are they? Yeah. And you said they weren't. Oh, well, I didn't know. Okay, well, see, aren't you glad we're looking? These Separate are place. broken. One, two, so not all of them are broken. Some of them are broken. I'll do it. I don't want you to get cut. I've opened most of these boxes. I'm just trying to be a gentleman. We'll put the broken, the ones that have any broken ones okay. in a pile. And they're gonna have to tell you, do they want like super atomized or just broken box? I went with this company because they, everyone has had great reviews. Like it was packaged really well and all the things. Rebecca, we've got to make a decision here about where guttering is going. You can run a gutter spout down that wall. Down or which wall, the white wall? Yep. And where to, would it go? For this gutter, see the gutter? Yeah, I see that. Where would it go? Down through, through the, the floor. He could come off of here, but he's gonna have to, first of all, come back up to the column, yeah. and then he's has to finagle through this. Or, or you do a chain, Gutter. You don't think the kids will bother this gutter? Well, well that gutter will be secure against the wall. This is going to be, gonna be, have you seen bad. these chain things? Honey, this whole house is going to be bothered. <laughs> We're going to have to have Ra Ra Randall on the retainer. You like that? I do. The chain? Okay. Get out of here. We're well, going. let's just get the chain then. To most people, he said, do not put gutters down the side of the house. They like to go on the corners or... We're not normal. Okay, that's true. Hopefully they can withstand the, the test of our children. I'm thinking we should vacuum all this dust up. Okay. Where's the shop vac at? Oh, like right now? Uh, by Monday. Aren't you gonna vacuum it up? Yeah, you wanna do it? No. Let's try it. You said what? they did not paint the no, let's skylight? Go right there. Oh. And then come out here. Oh no. For all that, it seemed like we were getting up so much. It's just a little pile. Why do I ooh, overestimate everything? Right in time for the bee lady to get here. What are we gonna do? You wanna we gotta your, get moving. You wanna don't see we? your girls? Yeah. You That's see? what they are? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna learn. Yeah. We're gonna learn all kinds of stuff. Oh, I'm not wow. gonna be happy with this cold so, weather though. Yeah, today so, what we're so gonna do is, is okay. we'll place them and we'll get them set up, but I'm, I'll, I'll open up. Uh -huh. um, but we won't open up because it's a little too cold. This is your guys' hive stand. We milled uh yeah. milled, milled the That's oak. So cool. It's That's oak, good. so it's solid. And okay. then my husband and son were like, let's brand it. So, for with the roads. I mean, well, <laughs> That's awesome. My last name's Richardson. Okay, so, so like, it's okay. <laughs> I don't typically like to get into the hives until it's around 60, close to 60 degrees. Oh. Tomorrow, I think it's gonna be like 58, I saw. And then yeah. sunnier. First up, we're gonna Maybe talk about fun. where to put <laughs> these hives. We think we got our locale. Austin's documenting this for Putting up a course. You learn anything? Not yet. Not yet. You, but I'm this sure is very basic so far. Yep, basic. We tried a couple of different spaces and she helped us snare it down to this one. By the way, it was 80 degrees yesterday. It's like 35 right now. Custom stand, oak. They even branded our R. Their last name starts with R too, huh? We got us a new energizer from Premier One and we got their B net. Apparently, according to Kaylee, it's not for the hunt. I was like, we don't need this net yet. Not for the honey. They're not after the honey. She said Pooh's a liar. <laughs> they included these fiber tufts. You make a turn right here. Those fiber tufts, you can make a turn wherever you want. Historic moment, kids. I'm not sure if the hollers ever had bees. I think it's getting colder. So anticlimactic. <laughs> so you opened it? Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. so they didn't go anywhere. They're, yeah. No, she doesn't think they will because it's so cold. I just want to, I want to give them the option. So if this were 80 degrees out here, they would have just started. Yeah. They just sort of went out right away. They, no, nobody they don't want. Nobody came out. I know. <laughs> they're they're going to kind of fly out and then they're going to kind of circle around their perimeter. Okay. And it's like their way of like navigating like 
this is my home. Okay. And then, you know, they'll come back in and you'll see it. Are you going to teach us how to harvest this tomorrow? You are, yeah. There's honey in that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that easy or hard to harvest? It's pretty easy. Not filled, obviously. Yes. Filled. And yeah. it's, that's filled with the honey. Yes. Mm. Lunch break. You guys excited about bees? Who's the beekeeper? Boston? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll take care of it. He likes it. You wear an outfit? No. Right. Unless they're being like, some days you walk out there and they're being aggressive. She even brought honey. I did. I mean, like, except it looks like peanut butter. <laughs> so, so, so you travel everywhere with your own honey? I, yeah. You eat it every morning? Every right? morning. Why? I'm gonna try it. So honey Wouldn't is... Wouldn't that spike your blood sugar? It would spike mine. Honey is a probiotic. Like, it's a probiotic. You want to... Mm. Feel your gut. Good. Go with honey. How many people can we fit in this kitchen? <laughs> la la let, la la let me be free.